could do this every day. Every day. And I love it. You love it. <laughs> you had you had you had these septic tanks and drains and things like that. Yeah, pretty much. Always in the uh, doo doo, shall we say? So I'm going to start today because today started yesterday. Um, so last night, no, well, it wasn't last night, but late afternoon, early evening, we had our first delivery of aggregate for the work that's going to be taking place in the next couple of days over on the new lodges. And then eight o'clock this morning, we had another delivery of uh, topsoil. And I got another delivery due in and another delivery due in. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a bit crazy. And I've got a mole, a very active mole. Um, So, it's only this pitch here that I've got a mole problem. What we're going to do with the mole in the hole? Anyway, I'm just going to rake this off now and uh, all being well, it won't cause too much damage. Not like the big mole at the beginning of the year. Right, let's get on to some, uh, some truckloads of aggregate. These are, uh, this is what's been right, going on. So, next up here now, 20 tonnes of hardcore coming in. Go. and that was pretty uh, pretty perfect wasn't it so and then we've got more chippings and soil coming
and you can call me mister so where we had the topsoil dump before the other day when the dumper truck got left um, it was parked up there and the guy that left it basically just turned around and said um, I've left the keys in and off he went so the soil needed to go where the dumper truck was and I have never in my entire life ever ever driven one of these things no idea on it at all anyway um, to cut a long story short uh, yeah you can call me mister the dumper truck driver so managed to move it without any collisions or anything like that uh, yeah another one to tick off into, onto my box I've, I've done tractors I've done plenty of tractors and mini tractors and obviously lots of sit on lawnmowers but no I've never done a never done a a dumper truck before all right I'll get myself down and today as well um it's really warm it's still fairly early uh and it is really warm and I've put my white white polo shirt on and I'll put money on by the end of today this is going to be black I've got um some soil to move um some strimming to do on these pitch dividers what we started the other day uh, and obviously once I start strimming you get uh, grass grass splatter everywhere uh, so yeah um, I've, if you stay on the campsite by the way if you want to buy a campsite warden mug I've got some mugs for sale and I've got some of these polo shirts and hoodies as well um, see myself on mark right I'm gonna crack on I've started pulling um, I cutting off some cable ties on chicken wire and I now need to go and get me lump hammer Oh, it's bin day as well today. Waiting for uh, waiting for the bin man to come today, and then we've got um, got a few on this afternoon, and then quite a lot on tomorrow. Not not full this weekend, but going from tomorrow, we've got the big lead up to the uh, bank holiday coming up, and that's going to be a very busy, um, yeah, very busy bank holiday. And um, I just want to get these these pitch dividers all done and cut down and looking quite nice and dapper. And because we've got some topsoil coming and some turf, we can repair any uh, anything as we go along. Right, enough of me going on, Neil. I need a sledgehammer. Uh, where, where am I going? Tools, 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 tools. So all my tools are all in here. So I need that and a screwdriver. I'm falling out of love with this hole. So literally half an hour ago, I'm just going to rate over this soil. I'm just going to go and put the mower on it, just tread it in. And behind me back, he's bloody at it. Look, look, he's just literally. The mole is winning. Do we need Killer Dave or do we not need Killer Dave? That's the question. Can't believe that, Lit quite literally. As I've gone and raked it over, turn me back, gone and got the mower. And he's, and he's at it again. Yeah, naughty mole. And do you remember this tree? I don't know if you remember where this caravan is here. Uh, Dan and Mazzy were here. And this hawthorn with all the blossom that was coming off it. And it all looked like it was snowing. Look how green that is now. And then... somewhere I can't even see where the nest is but obviously we've got a chicks have been hatching wonderful time of year isn't it um, yeah, all green and lush right got a first load of grass cuttings and, uh, to take off so we've just been finishing these pitch dividers as well um, I've now put some jute rope on the, on two of them uh, and I need some point to get out and he's gonna get some chip bark um, locally shortly as well three men and a mower <laughs> nice so any, anybody who's been watching these vlogs will remember back in march we had a problem with um a belt on this orange mower the husqvarna and i could not to save my life figure out how this belt went on anyway i've just been out cutting now some uh, uh, the, the molehill pitch for want of a better word trying to get it down the belts come off and we've all forgotten what we're doing it's not good, is it? And it's going to be something so simple and we've all forgotten how we did it. Three men and a mower went to mow a meadow, but we can't mow a meadow because we haven't got a mower. Right, dead easy. Absolutely, and I knew exactly what I was doing with that. It wasn't a problem, was it? Really easy, really easy. Right, 
we, we, last one, right? no, no. Did we resort to diagrams or not? Sort of, didn't we? We did. Sort of, right. I do need to order another belt. I'm hoping I've literally got 10 minutes on this one and um, <laughs> then I'm on the Stiga. But, and that battery is not doing. I'm going to have to put me. I'm going to get my intelligent charger and try and get some life into that one as well. Okay. So, show you where I'm up to, where that my belt has come off. I need to order a spare belt as well. Um, so I'm on the seasonal area. And you'll remember, again, the mole, the big mole, the mad, mad mole. So I cut this down um, last week, lower and then lower. And then I was trying to give it a final proper low cut today. And the belt went. So if you remember, this was virtually all just molehill soil and uh, yeah and then I seeded it and I'm just trying to get this um, this cut done so all being well the, the belt will hold up when I get this uh, this last little bit done It's looking amazing as ever uh, so I've just given the seasonal area this mulch cup with a little um, Steger uh, that's for the first time the whole site's now had that first full low down cut um, so people on this afternoon another couple due on um, I need to nip into the office and do a couple of bits and then need to nip out go and get a couple of bags of mulch uh sorry chip bark which we're going to use for mulch and yeah all looking good hear the bird song beautiful blackbird right. so this is very unusual and it's probably by the time you see this it's probably going to be too late um we have literally just taken a cancellation on just looking on my computer pitch number 15 um, for next week and the bank holiday weekend, which is a fully serviced, hard standing pitch. Uh, and that's, wow, yeah, that's literally has just been cancelled today. So if you wanted to book that, um, it's, prob it's probably going to be gone by the time you see this. Um, give us a ring or you can book online. Contact details you'll find at webholidayparks.co.uk. Um, yeah, that's unusual. Um, we've also got a, a, a bit of a problem with our septic tank. We've got um, a problem with one of the pipes that we need to get. Uh, it needs a good jetting and a good rodding. So I'm just waiting for a, a company to come in and do that. I was going to pop out and get this chip bark. Um, but I need to make sure that this, this other thing gets done. So... Uh, a little bit of hanging about and as I say, I'm um, quite on top of everything and prepping up for what we're going to be doing tomorrow. Mm, tomorrow and the day after is going to be a very, very, very busy time here with the lodges. And how's Russia today? How are you? Are you having a bit of a bounce? Okay. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Have you been on guard? Mm? Have you been on guard? Right, okay, okay. I'll give you a treat. Good. Right, owl on my roof. That is a big pigeon poop. Right, the owl on the roof. So, um, the pigeons are fearless. The pigeons have won. So, one of my neighbours has suggested a kite with a hawk on it, which we might look at. Um, but yeah. Have a look here, how fearless these pigeons are at the nurseries.
All right, so the man who can, can. When you've got a problem, who are you going to call? Drain Busters. In fact, there's got to be a company called Drain Busters, haven't there? There's got to be a they, Drain, busters. Be drain busters. Yeah. Somewhere. So we've, we've got blockfree.co.uk. Um, I got in touch with them this morning and they've um, come down very, very quickly, in actual fact. And I'm learning all about septic tanks and things like that. So we've got a blockage somewhere. Um, yeah, but basically... that's where things from there go into there um yeah so we're gonna have a a look with this and he's uh gonna do a bit of, do, do a bit of jetting here we go from these tanks to tanks The joys of being a campsite warden. Right, we found the culprit, we think. So when I was at Haven Holidays, I've, I've spoken about, we had a problem with one of their um, Elson points getting blocked. And we had to get it jetted. And I've completely forgotten about this now until this gentleman's just done this. And then we got it jetted down to another drain and it was cassette toilet caps. So when you empty your cassette toilet, you unscrew your cap and it's one of them that's gone down there don't know where it's gone now to be honest but it was down there um, so the moral of the story if you're emptying your toilet watch where you do with your caps because I th I'm suspicious that it's that what's caused the problem right so we're gonna find what the culprit is go on lift it up is it what we think there you go there we go there you go there you go yeah so again, um, at this previous place where I worked, we had half a dozen of those that had gone down, and that's what's caused your blockage. Bloody hell. All right, I've got a minute. All right, so I'm going to give a massive big thank you to Paul from um, Block, yeah, Free, Block Free Services. What a superstar was that? Do you do this every day? Every day. And I love it. You love it? <laughs> you, had, you, had, you had the septic tanks and drains and things like that? Yeah, pretty much. Always in the uh, doo-doo, shall we say. Would you say you, you, your job's shite? <laughs> Am I allowed to say that on YouTube? Sorry for any children watching, but uh, yeah, well, well done. I was definitely impressed. Well, you learned something new you there, did, didn't yeah, you? Every day. Right? Every yeah, every day. Every day is a learning day here at the nurseries in Mumby in Lincolnshire. Oh, dear. So wasn't that fun? Um, yeah. So the moral of the story: no matter where you're staying, if you've got a cassette toilet, make sure you unscrew your lid and keep it well away from the Elson drain. And to say that as soon as, as soon as I saw this cap pop out, I've got like all these visions of exactly what happened at Haven uh, when we, we got some jetted. And whilst um, whilst that was going on, I made a start on this. Can you before I tell you? Can you guess what this is? And basically, I'm just in the one of the lodges, and it was used to keep all the all, all the doors closed. So um, I was starting to. Make a start on here, so so we didn't show you. That's the freezer and the fridge and cupboards, so boiler um, and things. So tomorrow, um, I'm going to start unpacking everything here in the lodge uh, and get it laid out, and then give this thing a, a, a proper good clean over and things like that. The outside has been landscaped over the next couple of days, and uh, yeah, quite a lot going on, and all being well. The plumber, we've got a problem with the cottage and the plumber that we've had in the past, um, he should have been here on, he's losing track of days, Monday, didn't turn up anyway, he's here tomorrow, so um, yeah, it's going to be a very, 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 very busy couple of days ahead. Right, I need to go and get myself a bottle of water, I need to give Rashi a walk, I need to put some of it in the oven, it's been a long, long day and I'm going to wish you all a very fond Farewell. See you all very, very soon.